sub YouTube back once again. It's Eli Alexander, you know. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content that I've been dropping. I've been trying to drop literally content, if not once a week, uh, every other day. But, you know, I just want to make sure that all of my thoughts and things are getting out. Because I just have so much stuff that I be on my mind. So much information that I have to myself. But I also want to get to the... You guys. So, upon that... Upon saying that, uh, I definitely encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel. Um, continue doing what you're doing as far as liking the videos. I see you guys liking the mental health content that I've been doing. I see you guys been liking all the uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain technology information that I've been doing. With that being said, everybody right now, make sure you guys are updated on what's going on on the blockchain and what's going on in crypto uh i'm gonna get straight into it this particular video is actually just gonna be more so of a uh brief overhold of cryptocurrency why you should be investing in cryptocurrency why you should pay attention to cryptocurrency blockchain technology and uh that's pretty much it. A couple other things, but we're going to get to it. So basically, essentially, one of the reasons why I recommend that you guys definitely take the time out to look into NFTs, cryptocurrency projects. Uh, you, you don't necessarily have to invest in it, but it's, I think it's very necessary in this day and age that everybody does their research and is very aware of it because... Uh, the way the world's going right now, this stuff is not going anywhere anytime soon. So when it comes to uh, having a simple crypto wallet, you know, uh, a wallet that can you can store your crypto keys in or you store your Ethereum in, store your Solana in, the different type of wallets, you definitely want to be doing research on those type of things. And most importantly, especially for people who are young and black, you definitely want to be studying what the blockchain is and the different things that can be done with the blockchain technology. Blockchain technology, I actually did a video on this a couple weeks ago that you guys should love. But for those who uh, need a refresher, blockchain technology is basically technology that uh, uh, you're able to code and write smart contracts. So. One of the things about blockchain technology and cryptocurrency is you're, when you're able to write these smart contracts, you're able to basically code up contracts to do whatever you want them to do. So perfect example with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is uh, a ledger that ver it's on a blockchain that verifies its transactions by itself. So nobody's actually running it. So it verifies by itself. And then just think of all the other different things like with NFTs and Ethereum, uh, the blockchain on the Ethereum blockchain, or how most people end up buying their uh, NFTs, the Ethereum blockchain verifies the art. So just imagine the different things that you can code into a smart contract to verify, uh, not just art, but maybe verifying when uh, cars are made, maybe verifying uh, a sh that a certain shoe it's been made by a certain factory, and it's been that legit. Basically, blockchain technology is a new form of technology, decentralized technology, that can you can use to innovate new things that the world has never seen that is decentralized, which means once it's decentralized, nobody, not, no one person has full control over it, which is basically a free-for-all. So, you know, you don't have to abide by anybody's rules. It's a free-for-all. Can't nobody take you down. Can't nobody shut you down. And that's why I definitely recommend that you guys definitely take the time out to do the research. Um, as of right now, it is February 1st, 2022. The crypto markets are pretty, they're pretty down bad. Uh, things are kind of rocky. The start of the new year, things have been rocky. Actually, starting in December, things have been rocky. Uh, Bitcoin dropped dramatically from 60,000 all the way to, I think the lowest was about $34,000, which 
I'm not gonna lie, my portfolio suffered dramatically. Ethereum nearly halved itself. It dropped from 4,000 to like, uh, the lowest I seen was uh, 2,064, uh, which is, my portfolio is just crazy. I lost a good, a good amount of money, but I, well, technically I didn't lose any money because I never pulled out my shares or anything, which I'm the type of investor. I don't, I'm not pulling out no matter what. Um, and that also keeps me disciplined. I kind of use my accounts as savings accounts. And this is not financial advice, so please do not take any of this as financial advice. But uh, when it does come to a, when it does come to investing, if you guys were, if you guys were ever thinking about a good time to buy some Bitcoin or any crypto right now, um, at this day and age, uh, a good entry point would probably be right now because everything is pretty much half. The crypto market has been um, kind of in the red for a while, as well as the stock market. So um, it's really good. But, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not encouraging you guys or telling you guys to go buy. Just, you know, just saying, like, you know, if you want to make a good entry point, go ahead and just see what you can do. But... Uh, on to the next topic. Uh, one thing I did want to touch on was while uh, crypto is doing pretty good, um, I do see that, you know, with it being 2022, a lot of tech companies are investing to this thing so-called the metaverse. And I actually did a video on the metaverse of me in the Central Land uh, last week. And I'm actually going to be doing another one when I get my upcoming oculus uh hopefully you guys like that and we'll do a video on that as well but one thing that i will say is that the uh metaverse is something that you should definitely be paying attention to as well like one of the things that i've been looking and studying as far as the metaverse goes is that the metaverse is really going to change how we view society, how a lot of people view society. A lot of people are going to end up working in the metaverse. Uh, when they get all of this stuff off the ground within 10 years, a lot of this stuff is going to be digitalized. And a lot of people are not even going to be in the physical world like we are right now. Of course, you know, you're always going to have your real estate. You're always going to have, you know, people who are managing these systems. But overall, a lot of a lot of these companies are trying to get people hooked into the metaverse. With that being said, while it's a good opportunity to maybe have fun, uh, you definitely want to get in so you can make some income. And that's actually what I encourage everybody to do is actually learn these new things because they're so new. I'm big on technology. So with technology, I know when things are early, it's best to invest and learn about it as early as possible. That way, when things start do taking into effect, you guys are able to actually take action and you don't end up missing anything. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just thought I'd give you guys some brief uh, reasons why you guys should invest in or look into the metaverse, NFTs, and cryptocurrency. Peace.